Oh, hey guys, I had to come back. Wow, it is burning up in here. The reason why I came back was I sent out all the invitations to my math fiesta. And guess what? Everybody wants to come. Oh man, I'm even getting sweat in my eyes right now. But I want to go ahead and tell you guys, I had to buy a bigger pool. We are going all out. This is going to be the fiesta of the century. We're going to have fraction napkins, polygon cutout jello squares, you name it, we're going to have it. Okay, but I bought a bigger pool because I want to make sure that more people can fit into this fiesta. So, the pool I bought has a 20 foot radius now. How can I figure out the circumference? We're going to use our formula still. Circumference is equal to 2 pi r, right? Now you're probably saying, why do I always use that? Because in the last example I used it when we talked about diameter. The reason why is because this is the more common circumference formula to use, so I always like to just stick with one. It makes things a lot easier. Now I can go ahead and plug in everything that I know since I'm already given my radius. And that's equal to 2 times 3.14 times 20. All right. So now I know that 6.28, because 2 times 3.14 is 6.28. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I want to go ahead and show you this problem so I can go jump into my pool and have a little fraction dance off. All right. 6.28 times 20 is 125.5. Six. And remember, it's in feet. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that. 125.6 feet. That's going to be the circumference of my new pool. And now I know I can fit plenty more people in there so we can have our fraction dance off and have a good time. All right, guys, you have fun. I'm going to go to my math yet. 